suspected hetman have killed a father and son in Toru and Giyama community in Pantani local government area of Delta State. The incident that occurred in the early hours of Monday, January 23, 2023 caused pandemonium in the hitherto peaceful community as some panic-stricken residents fled the area. In what was described as an unprovoked attack, the victims identified as High Chief Dennis Igbejule and his son were butchered to death on their farms. It was gathered that one other person was inflicted with gunshot injuries while several others were said to have been held hostage by the hurtmen who invaded the community. Farmer head of violence is now common in almost every part of the country. It is no longer news that the frequency of incidents has become the new normal. Many Nigerians are directly or indirectly affected by the clash. For Nigeria's rural community dwellers, the constant clashes led to arson and killings. The increase in the price of food items has been attributed to several factors. Many farmers have fled their farmland for fear of being attacked by herders. Given details of the incident, the chairman of the Ijo Youth Council in Kabwewi Kingdom, Andrew Ekiyo, said the victims had gone to their farm when they met the herdsmen destroying their crops. In the process of trying to stop them, they had an argument and that is how they were attacked. One other man was also shot but he did not die. He managed to escape into the community and made us understand that some people are still being held hostage in the bush. The boy, the man's son, did not die instantly, so they chased the boy into the community. People saw it very well. He disclosed that everybody in the community was scared and that some people had run away from the village. Another source, who also said the man's son did not die on the spot, disclosed that he was being rushed to the hospital, but the road was not accessible. They also tried using the boat, but later he gave up. Confirming the killing to our correspondent on Tuesday, the spokeswoman for the Delta State Police Command, DSP Bright Edafe, said no suspects have been arrested in connection with the gruesome killing as an investigation is still ongoing to ascertain the killers. We are currently investigating the matter. The identity of the killers is still unknown. It will be made public once the investigation is over.